Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I have a fairly short episode for you today and it really centers on Linux Mint Debian Edition. Now I wanted to share some of my thoughts with you on how I believe the Linux Mint team could finally break free from the Ubuntu Goliath once and for all. So let's get started. Now, to be honest, I've been using the Linux Mint Edition on the Ubuntu code base for several years now with great success. However, I decided last year to just cut to the chase and install a fresh new copy of Linux Mint Debian Edition or LMDE 5. Now, with some minor exceptions, which I'll speak about those a little bit later in this episode, the user experience for me using LMDE has been every bit as good. I think the Linux Med team has a clear winner here. But first, let's talk about the different flavors of Ubuntu. Now, as you can see here, there are 10 different flavors of Ubuntu. Each one of these sport a different desktop user interface. However, it's important to note that as of March 30th of 2023, Ubuntu Cinnamon became the 10th official flavor of Ubuntu. And since that time, I've seen articles online, watched other videos, and even overheard on various podcasts the same question. Now that Ubuntu Cinnamon is quote-unquote official, where does that leave Linux Mint? Well, I'll tell you where I believe it leaves Linux Mint. It leaves it in a very good position to separate itself from Ubuntu once and for all. See, what many people might not know is the fact that Ubuntu, uh, rather the Cinnamon desktop, was created by and is supported by and really still under active development by the Linux Mint team. Now, don't get me wrong, I've used Ubuntu Cinnamon for a few weeks, and that team's done a very good job with it. However, it simply, in my honest opinion, does not have the same level of spit and polish of the Cinnamon desktop when using it with Linux Mint. Now, in this episode, it's you know I'm, I'm not going to go and in deep dive into reviewing these two releases. Rather, I'm going to show you some comparisons and contrasts between the two of them, as well as some of my recommendations on what the Linux Mint team should do to allow themselves to separate from Ubuntu, the Ubuntu code base entirely. And, and here's the thing, they are already pretty much there with some minor exceptions. Let's take a look at those. Okay, a David and Goliath comparison. David being Linux Mint, Debian Edition, and Goliath being Ubuntu. Now I've broke this into four different categories. Software availability, hardware support, long-term support, and the sentiment version that, that's included with each one of these releases. So if you look at Ubuntu Cinnamon software availability, you have Snap support, which is built in, and of course the Ubuntu repositories. Now Flatpak support is not included by default, but it's very easily installed. For Linux Mint Debian Edition, however, you've got the Debian repositories, and there's a good deal of softwares there as well. It does include Flatpak by default, but it does not include Snap support. And to enable snaps on Linux Mint Debian Edition, there are a couple of extra steps you have to take in order to get it installed. But once you have it installed, it works every bit as simple as the Ubuntu Edition does. Hardware support. Now, with Ubuntu Cinnamon, you will have slightly better support for newer hardware than you will with Linux Mint Debian Edition because with Linux Mint Debian Edition, because it's based on Debian, number one, some of the packages that you have available to you are slightly older versions of packages than what you'll find with Ubuntu. That also includes the kernel. The kernel which ships with Ubuntu Cinnamon or just Ubuntu LTS in general is a newer long-term support kernel than the one that ships with the Debian edition of Linux Mint. Now, 
There is a benefit here, though, for Linux Mint. Unlike Ubuntu Cinnamon, Linux Mint, because it's based on Debian edition, because it's based on Debian, also has 32-bit support. And this is really good for those of you who have really older hardware, uh, hardware that may not be quite as powerful. You know, perhaps it even comes from, you know, the Windows XP days. And you might have an old laptop or an old desktop computer that's been sitting around. It's still mechanically functional. And you can't quite figure out what to do with it. Don't throw it away. You can actually download and install the 32-bit version of Linux Mint Debian Edition and give it a try. It may work just fine. Now, in terms of long-term support, both LMDE and Ubuntu Cinnamon have five years of support. However, Ubuntu has a program that used to be called Ubuntu Advantage. Now it's called Ubuntu Pro, which will give you five additional years of support for your long-term support additions. That's a total of 10 years of support. Ubuntu Cinnamon also comes with a slightly older version of the Cinnamon desktop environment than does Linux Mint Debian Edition. The good thing about that, going with Linux Mint Debian Edition, every time the Linux Mint team has a new version of the Cinnamon desktop that they roll out to the public, you will get that update. Whereas with the Ubuntu Cinnamon Edition, you're going to be stuck with that older version for a bit of time, uh, a whole lot longer. In fact, I've got it, everything is fully updated on the Ubuntu Cinnamon Edition that I have installed and it's still running on, a, on an older version of the Cinnamon desktop and I can show you that here. So if we look on the left you have Linux Mint Debian Edition. These are some of the key differences you're going to find here with respect to this. Obviously the operating system is it's called LMDE5 LC but it's based on the DE stands for Debian so there's Debian under the hood. But look at the version of the Cinnamon desktop compared to the version of Ubuntu on the right. With Linux Mint Debian Edition, you have version 5.6.8. And with Ubuntu, it's 5.2.7. So Ubuntu has a slightly older version of the Cinnamon desktop. And that's why I said earlier that when you're using Linux Mint, that Cinnamon desktop experience has a good bit more spit and polish to it. And I really like that. And of course, there's the kernel versions. With the Linux Mint Debian Edition, you're on 5.10. And with the Ubuntu uh, kernel edition, you have 5.19. So the benefit there is if you have a much newer piece of hardware, you will likely get much better support for that hardware running Ubuntu Cinnamon than you would the Linux Mint Debian Edition. So here are my thoughts on how David can free itself from Goliath. I've got a, three different improvement suggestions, and maybe some of you have others. And if so, definitely put it down in the show notes. I'd love to have that, uh, that, that viewpoint from you all. So on the software availability, my recommendation is definitely, for, and this is for Linux Mint, Debian Edition, keep the Debian repositories, but consider f promoting flat packs as the default in the software manager. Remember I said earlier that the uh, Debian repository comes with slightly older versions of software, of packages? Well, when you go into the software manager for LMDE and you dis it shows you all the different software, what you'll find is, in some cases, the Debian edition, the Debian package, as well as the Flatpak edition, and, and it can be a little bit confusing at times. It's actually thrown me off a couple of times as to which one to install. My recommendation, particularly for newer users who are switching over, is to go with the Flatpak edition by default. And of course, you still want to offer the option, as they do today, to allow the user to switch over to and, and choose the Debian package. But I would suggest just display the Flatpak version of the software if there is a Flatpak version. If there isn't, of course, display the Debian, the one from the Debian repositories. So that's one recommendation, at least one of the uh, key recommendations I have with respect to software availability. 
The third one, obviously, is Wayland support. Now, I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of detail with this. Um, you know, Wayland is coming. It is eventually going to replace X11. And, you know, right now the Cinnamon desktop is still based on X11. Not that there's anything necessarily wrong with it. But I'd love to see the Linux Mint team work on Wayland support at some point sooner rather than later. That's why I put an asterisk next to it. It's really not a must-have in order for them to move on over 100% to um, a, a Debian-based distribution. But it is something I really like to see, um, you know, actively happening. And if you all are aware of this, you know, that the Linux Mint team is working on this, then definitely put that in the show notes as in the comments section below, rather. Hardware support. I would say include a more recent kernel like the MX Linux guys do. So MX Linux comes with the, because it's based on Debian, it comes with a 32-bit version that you can install, a 64-bit version using the Debian kernel, which is I think 5.10, and it also comes with what's called their Advanced Hardware Support Edition, which is a more recent long-term support kernel. I think it's version 6.0 on the MX Linux website. So that's something else that the Linux Mint team could do. Maybe offer an optional download for, you don't have to call it Advanced Hardware uh, Support Edition as MX Linux does, name it whatever you want, but it's a version that includes a more recent LTS kernel. And what that will do is put it pretty much on par, if not in some cases ahead of where Ubuntu is in terms of kernel support. So this will afford, you know, the, the LMDE team or LMDE in general to support much, much newer hardware than even Ubuntu does. So it's another recommendation I have. And finally, desktop environment support. In addition to Cinnamon, right now, LMDE, you can only get the Cinnamon desktop for it. But the team should also consider including, of course, XFCE, GNOME, Budgie, Mate, and KDE. Those would be awesome because they're already supported by Debian anyway, albeit slightly older versions. My recommendation here, as you see, I have in parentheses, the latest stable editions of those desktop environments. I think going with these improvement suggestions would put LMDE well ahead of even Ubuntu in many cases. LMDE has a very bright future ahead of it. And I can say that my experience with it has been very good. No complaints. Honestly, I believe that it's time for the Linux Mint team to focus their energies on moving over to the Debian stable base and leave the Ubuntu edition behind. Now, MX Linux, for example, is a great example of a fantastic Debian-based distro, along with the likes of Peppermint, who, by the way, also made the switch completely over to Debian. Now, granted, Ubuntu is based on Debian as well, but Ubuntu is blazing its own path, and, you know, they've doubled down on snap packages, so much so that in a recent article from OMG Ubuntu, an all-snap-based Ubuntu desktop will be available next year for Ubuntu. Now, I'm in no way bashing Ubuntu. I think it's a very good Linux distribution, but if the Linux Mint team wants to set its own path, then moving solely over to the Debian base will finally permit them to cut that Ubuntu umbilical cord once and for all. Now, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if you like this episode, then please subscribe and hit that thumbs up icon for me too. So until next time, peace.